Hello, hello, Erfidius Pete here, inviting you to come on down to Crazy Pete's Discount Alien Artifact Emporium as I continue my run through XCOM The Long War. And today and today only, Crazy Pete has some truly crazy deals on all your alien technological and biological needs. Why, thanks to a ridiculous glut of missions and a stupidly compressed time frame from a recent alien deluge attack, my warehouse is filled to bursting with more alien artifacts than Area 51 and Walker Air Force Base combined. I've got weapon fragments, I've got Illyrium, I've got alloys, I've got plasma guns, I've even got copious volumes of the mysterious alien meld substance. Ooh. And it's all priced to move, folks. But if technology isn't your thing, never fear, because I've also got live aliens, I've got dead aliens, I've got alien captives, why I even have a shocking supply of sexually violated alien remains. Ever wonder what your local Chinese restaurant puts in their signature General Tso's chicken that makes it taste so good? Well, for the low, low price of $2.99 a pound, good old Crazy Pete can let you in on the secret. Woohoo! Now, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed by my smorgasbord of deals, but I'm not even close to finished yet. Do you need a What's little more status, computing so power for your secret alien Illuminati project? Going to take over the world's You're banking system? Does your weather control supply device lack an adequate power supply? Well, stop by my shy room today then, because I've got alien computer systems and alien power supplies. I've got so many pouring out my doors that even a communist dictator couldn't shake his writing crop at them all. And it's all for sale, folks, all for sale. So come on down and get your hands on some sweet alien swag this weekend, because after today, these deals and what little remains of Crazy Pete's sanity are gone forever. That's you Crazy Pete's that Discount Alien Artifact Dr. Emporium. Well, Stop on by sure today. Bradford, to I'll sell you for nothing. Every single purchase gets a free Bradford. Every single one. Come on by, folks. All right. Well, seriously, I, everything is priced to move. It all must go. And if you saw our last episode, you know entirely what I'm talking about because we did a very, very thorough signature cleaning on the old gray market. But uh, Crazy Pete, man, I'm telling you, that guy, it's all priced to move. So get your swag today. But while Crazy Pete uh, does his salesmanship, and I gotta say, I'm a little tempted to go over there myself and sell myself a few of my own goods. I'm that fucking crazy, folks. But uh, while that gets taken care of, we're also gonna do a little scanning for activity here and see if we can uh, restock what old Crazy Pete is trying to move out of the warehouse. All right, so we get Elvis and Simone back on duty. We have a small scout low over France. This really shouldn't pose much of a problem for us, should it? And we have Blinker, Kamala, and Poacher. You know, I think Blinker can probably take this one down. I mean, this is small UF. Eh, you know what? Let's send the poacher. He's got more kills. We would like to have one pilot over every continent who's sort of like our ace. Let's see if we can pad the kill total here for uh, the poacher just a bit. We have eyes on the bandit. Technically, this is Blinker's kill, and sort of Near vicariously, he's living up to his name by poaching said kill. So, there's that. And he poached the holy shit out of it, took it down. No damage for our interceptor. That's fantastic. Nicely done. Poacher York poaching the shit out of it. And as a small UFO that we shot down, you know, this may be the perfect opportunity for us to uh, get a little rookie action in the mix. I mean, Crazy Pete doesn't have a vast supply of rookies available, and he does have a vast supply. Well, I mean, he does have a vast supply of rookies available. But he doesn't have a vast supply of uh, sort of experienced troopers. Can we get by with three rookies? That might be pushing it a little. Although... We do have a, eh, you know, we got quite a few people coming back very shortly, actually. A couple hours for the dead eye. You know what? I actually think we can do this. I sort of like our chances. Let's make it happen. We do have a medic. I mean, we've got some, the, the guys we've got here, with the exception of Norman, Failure, Borlog. And by the way, if you make any purchase at all with uh, Discount Pete at his uh, crazy alien artifact emporium sale, not only do you get a free Bradford, but we actually will pay you to take a Norman Borlog off our hands. That's right, folks. Every single purchase gets a negative cost Norman Borlog. If you buy anything from Crazy Pete, I will give you a dollar and Norman Borlog to take home with you. That's how much I hate him. That being said, we have four competent troopers, a Norman Borlog, and then we could go with rookies. And I think that's what we're going to do. So let's grab Simone here. We're going to make items available, of course. Simone de Beauvoir, she's no discount. She's number one in our hearts and on our shelves because uh, Simone de Beauvoir commands quite a hefty price. We're going to give her phalanx armor, laser strike rifle, battle scanner, ceramic plating, and it's got old Simone sorted. William Shakespeare is going to be our assault trooper for the mission because we got literally nothing else. I mean, we got one assault. I actually kind of don't like only taking a single assault. That means we're going to have a scatter laser that we kind of can't do anything with. Now, we could take... An arc. Nah, let's do it. 
I mean, Crazy Pete's gonna sell all of our captives, and we're gonna probably need to replenish that, because Crazy Pete may be overestimating the number of alien captives we actually have access to. We don't really have that many. Crazy Pete, I'm telling you, that guy, he's fucking crazy. He really is crazy. He's crazy. He's not just crazy. He's crazy. Anyway, scope, Gatling laser, laser sight. That's got uh, Marie Antoinette the Baker ready to uh, whip up a little batch of delicious death for our alien friends. Elvis the King Presley. I'm debating whether or not I want to give the King Phalanx armor. I think the answer is no. I'm going to actually put that on the rookies, mostly because Elvis actually has a pretty damn good health total in and of itself. Motion tracker and a couple med kits for Elvis. One of them is going to... Uh, I hate protecting Norm Norman Borlaug. I hate protecting you. No, you know what? No, actually, I'm not going to do it. I was going to say I hate protecting you, and uh, I, I, I hate it so much I'm actually, in fact, not going to do it. I'm not going to protect you. I was going to give you some phalanx armor to try and maybe help you with your pathetic, terrible movement speed, but you know what? Now that I think about it, Norman, just is not even worth it, actually. it's uh, that's, a, that's a net loss for the project, so you know what? I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. So, promising rookies, then. Giuseppe Neri, looking pretty good. He's really fast. I wish we could give rookies shotguns. I don't suppose we can give a rookie a shotgun, Kimmy. Is that something that they've changed? I don't think rookies are entitled to take shot. Nope, they cannot. We could give him an assault carbine. There is... You know what? Yeah, let's try and make this guy into, like, sort of a flanking unit form. We'll go a little bit of a utility build with this particular rookie. So let's leave him with a... Yeah, do we want to give him the laser sight? With the carbine... Yeah, let's go carbine laser sight. I kind of like this. Let's go with this build for Giuseppe. Hopefully we can pick up a new scout, maybe. A new little speed demon. Yakin's really good. So is Bomi Zhang. Both of these guys are really good. Zhang's defense is a little... Yeah, I'm going to go... Actually, we're going to take both of these guys. They're both looking really solid. We, we don't need to customize them. I mean, we don't know who this guy has any chance of turning into. He could be literally anyone. But what we are going to do is give him a laser rifle, a scope, and a laser sight, as well as some phalanx armor. Yeah, I'm protecting the rookies, but mostly I'm just trying to kind of up their movement speed a little bit. So that's got him taken care of. Let's grab Bo Mi Zhang as well. And we're going to go with the same route here. So we're really, I mean, I've been relying pretty heavily on some of the team's rookies lately. And both times we've done it, it's actually paid some pretty solid dividends. The rookies have not disappointed us. They've been carrying their weight. We've had a couple situations where, particularly with Lucas goddamn Schwarzkopf, who is now Steve fucking McQueen, where the rookies really have been kind of the linchpin of our mission. They've not only been holding it down, I mean, they've been the foundation upon which a couple successes have been laid. So, I'd want to lay them after those kind of successes. Drop I mean, I'd lay them down and love them right. Me and Luke Bryan. Of course, Luke Bryan's going to take you out to a weird river and, like, catch you some catfish first, and then he's going to have sex with you. It seems like maybe he could just skip the whole river France and catfish sending an urgent and just get to the bone, request. but... I don't know. Target went down in a remote yeah, it's got some area, kind of weird we have to secure fetish. the site before the aliens recover any survivors. All right, so Operation Lost Serpent. A chance for three rookies wind up in Project Lazarus, which is good, because you never know what Crazy Pete might sell. Shit, he might sell the Project Lazarus equipment. We need to get that shit used before Crazy Pete sells it to, I don't know, some third world dictator. I heard Kim Jong-un is in the market. Now that I'm thinking about that, I really have... I really don't want to know if Kim Jong-un had access to Project Lazarus technology. I really don't want to know what it is that he would do with it. Really Affirmative, big sky. Strike one is free to engage right, so we are along a zone wall. Are we near another zone wall? Absolutely. So we're in a corner. All right, then. Which map is this? Sometimes it's difficult to identify them, but if you spin them a little bit... Okay, I know exactly where we are. All right, so there's probably going to be a pod, like, right up in here. So I think for our first move, let's go motion tracker here with the king, and we're going to take the king full full cover. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Go hot. Go hot. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's really bad. Really bad. We have a mectoid, and... Ugh. We do not... Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Roger that. We do not have... Uh, we have hardly any cover at all. Alright, so Borlog, you're going to study your weapon. Marie the Baker Antoinette does not... I mean, it says she has a shot, but she patently does not have a shot. So we got to get her to full cover. We're going to have to set up for our next turn. That's that's all we can do. We do not have adequate cover. This is going to be supremely dangerous. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay. And the other thing is, we got all the rookies ever. 
Heading there now. All right, Zhang. Let's overwatch with you. You have the laser rifle. Elvis has a shot. It is not a fantastic shot, but if we could get one of those sectoids down, that would have some tangible benefits for us. We, we, we may not even have enough that everybody even gets a piece of cover, which I am not a fan of at all. This actually, you know, as a dash move, this actually should be safe. So let's have Willie Shakes head forward. Oh, son of a bitch, he's on overwatch. Oh, Willie. Knock it, Willie. You did not duck, William. You did not. Oh, son of a bitch. You know, it occurs to me we do not actually have a scout on this mission. That's a significant oversight, actually. Not having a scout, that's real bad. Real bad. Oh, wait. No, we do have a scout. We have Simone de Beauvoir. I am an idiot. I am so... Mm, all right. Just go... Uh, well, I, I can't actually have Elvis take that shot. We have another task in mind for Elvis, and yes, it's going to be to keep a whole bunch of people from getting shot by that mech. Roger. Man, I'm real salty about the Overwatch her. thing. That was that was just straight up a bad move. That was me making a flat-out mistake. Son of a bitch. This is a real terrible pod to just stumble into with Team Rookie here. This is not good. All right, so let's see what our... Well, we're going to get some Overwatch here. I would be amazed if any of this hit. And again, my rookies continue to amaze me. They really do. We're going to get some more. Simone de Beauvoir with a 59% chance here. Come on, Simone. Nope. All right, we sort of needed that hit, actually. Yeah, we kind of needed that one, Simone. Kind of needed that one. We're going to get some more because a lot of people aren't over. I don't think this can even hurt him. I'm surprised that did one damage, actually. Quite surprised that even did a point of damage. So he's back on Overwatch. All right, he's going to get shielded. Yeah. So here's the thing. we got to pop this guy's shield and somehow still do enough damage to get him killed. Can we do that in a single turn? I'm not sure. The, oh. All right, you resisted the panic. Nicely done, rookie. The one damage, you're, you're going to have to buck that up and deal with that. That's why we gave you some armor. It'll be okay. Suck it up, rookie. Come on, man. Don't let me down. All right, so we're going to... All right, Zhang, I'm going to remember that. That one's going in your permanent file, Zhang. Did you panic someone else, you piece of garbage? You better not have panicked another trooper. If you panicked... Oh, okay, then. So if you panicked another trooper, I may have to take you out just completely. This is our only heat ammo shot. We got to do it. This is all the heat ammo we got. Okay, good. So we did pop. All right. Um, you know, maybe having Norman Borlaug along isn't the worst possible thing. Now, here's the question. Do we go with the heat warhead rocket, or do we fire the shredder? Oh, no, we need the damage on the mechtoid. The mechtoid is dangerous. He has to die, and he has to die this turn. Picking up the extra sectoid is just kind of a fringe benefit. Eight damage is acceptable output. Neary's gonna have a terrible percent chance to hit because he got shot. Yakin can't really do anything. Willie Shakes could come out here. Roger, tracking. All right, so he's going to have shots in this. Oh, he has good shots. All right, Willie Shakes, do it for me, baby. Oh, William Shakespeare does it for me. And he does it for me like a true Elizabethan courtesan. Oh, 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 Willie. Oh, Willie. Can I have your babies? I want to have all of your babies, William Shakespeare. Seriously. And I'm a dude, and I still want to have all of your babies. That is a sectoid commander? There is a sectoid commander back there. Well, that's really very much double plus ungood. I did not see the sectoid commander. That's real, real bad. Um, you're going to study your weapon. Actually, you're going to go on Overwatch. On Overwatch. If somebody gets mind frayed here. We could be in kind of deep fucking shit. All right. So what if we bring... I would love to have this rookie get some shots, but... That's not any kind of cover at all. We could bring him around here to corner cover, and he might have, like, take a poke at this guy, maybe? I'm not really sure that's useful. We got a 42% chance here with Elvis, Aaron, Presley. That has some tangible benefits. What can Simone do? Yeah, all right, so here's what we do. Simone takes the first shot, gets the hollow targeting, if nothing else. All right, so nothing else is pretty much exactly what I expected. That does give Elvis a 52% chance. Who he can also then just whiff wildly. That's fantastic. So let's bring Neri, or Yakin, rather, around here. He has a sh Oh, he's actually got a pretty good... We're going to take this. Come on, Yankin. Don't yank it by chain, man. Perfect. All right, so once again, a rookie steps up and delivers when the chips are down a little bit. Man, Team Rookie has been Team Strong lately. 
and we've broken their morale. This this is a problem though. Yeah, you better run, punk. That's right, a little chicken shit, no good, nobody. You better run like a little yeah, punk ass. No, you keep running. You keep running, you piece of garbage. You better not stop. If I catch you, you don't want to let me catch you. You do not want to let me catch you. All right then. So there are seriously, rookie. You're gonna double panic. I mean, that's kind of not Moving cool, bro. Position. That's that's kind of not cool. Oh, Willie Shakes is real badly injured. Man, we've been taking a lot of attrition here to uh, some of our Come on. Time to assault troopers up. lately. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's it's not as bad as I originally thought. I originally thought it was a little worse than it actually is. I mean, it's not good. On it's not way. good at all. But it's not quite as bad as I initially Run. suspected. So we got to get to Marie Antoinette Baker into a better firing position. We need her. We need her squad site shots Remind potentially me. doing something. So we're going to move her forward out of dash. Simone is going to step right up next to her and keep her company. She's going to. She's going to battle scan her. We got to be able to see where these guys went and what they are doing. We need this. We need this data. We need this info. I don't think a motion tracker is going to get it close enough. So we need to keep an eye on these guys. All right. So they're linked up. That guy could come forward, but even if he does, I don't really think he's going to have fantastic shots. So let's take Neri here. Old Giuseppe will bring him forward. Shakespeare, I want you to reload. Uh, Yakin, we could move you forward and you might have a shot, but you might also wind up mind controlled and killed, which seems like it's killing time. to be kind of not necessarily what we need. So let's see if the aliens will rally a little morale and maybe move forward. They're showing the patented bravery of a General George Custer in that they're just running the hell away as fast as they can run. Neither of them are on Overwatch, which is interesting. They didn't Overwatch. All right, so let's go with another med kit charge. Good as I want no. Willie Shakes fully healed. William Shakespeare is going to be the linchpin of this mission. He really is. We're going to need Willie Shakes doing everything Willie Shakes can do. And I don't really like the idea of advancing while we have people who are low on ammo. So, you know what? Let's just not. We'll put the Baker on Overwatch. We'll let Giuseppe reload here. Willie Shakes, you get some Overwatch in yet. Yakin, I wouldn't mind having you readjust very slightly to this better cover. For just a split second, you had a shot. So, we're going to have you Overwatch. They can't see you. You can't see them. If they move, though, you might be able to take a poke at it. Do you hear something? Yeah, it's, it's the sectoids. I mean, they're still back there. All right, so we're going to get a free poke at our little sectoid commander here. Not a terrible shot. All right, 46%. Ricky can't do everything. I mean, he's just one man. He's not a miracle worker. He's just one man. Sectoid is moving in for the flank. Okay. I would not have expected this maneuver from Team Sectoid, but I think we actually have a pretty reasonable chance of handling it okay. So we're going to need to shift our battlefield just a very little bit. All right, so Yankin, you have like a bad shot and a not fantastic shot. And theoretically, we might want to just have you fall back while we try and set up a bit of a trap. So we can bring the king around the corner. He's not going to have a shot, but we can over. All right, Borlog. Can we do anything useful with Norman Borlog? We could put him in half cover and possibly get him shot. Honestly, that might be one of the more useful things we could do with Norman Borlaug. The other thing we could do is put him here, where he's actually out of line of sight. We could kind of do the same thing with Willie Shakes. Alternatively, we could run and gun with Willie Shakes, put him in this full cover, and have him have a shot at this punk. Man, I really wish I had some grenades right now. I very much wish that I had a few grenades. I think we got to kind of try and set up to draw the aliens in. I don't think they're going to come in. Yeah, I don't think going at them is the right move here. I think we got to try and set up. You have a shot. It's a terrible shot. I'd actually prefer that you not be able to see the enemy, actually. What if we move you over here? Okay, there you can't see the enemy. It's kind of important for us to know which tiles can and which tiles cannot see the enemy. That's uh, situational info we need, mostly for Yak in here, because I don't think I'm going to have Yak in fire. I, I really don't want anyone to be able to see the sectoid commander. Okay, this should be safe. We have scanned this area at the battle scanner, so we know there's no additional pods up there. we got to try and get a couple people in position where we can begin flanking them. Heading out. Eventually. I mean, maybe not this turn, but ultimately, 
We do want to try and get them into some flank positions. Borlog, I rather like where you're at. Just drop into Overwatch. Now, Marie Antoinette does have our squad site weapon, but she's in a problematic position. I, I don't think she'll be able to see the enemy from there. Which, of course, okay, she can, but only with squad site. That's exactly what we were hoping I'm for. Rolling. So Yankin falls back, and it's Overwatch. Overwatch. The aliens want to engage us, we make them come in. And we can start things off with a Simone de Beauvoir Bible Scanner if we need to, and I think that might be the right, the right call here. Give me the motion tracker, Elvis. I'm really terrified of this sectoid commander, and I'm showing him mad respect. Roger. Mad respect to you, sectoid commander. Mad respect. Okay, so he is right where he was before he has not moved. All right, Simone, can you get me... What can you do here, Simone? Can you get up there? You cannot see the enemy. I'm confused as to how that's even possible. All right, well, if they want to play coy, if this is going to be a cat and mouse game, it's a cat and mouse game. That's fine. What the aliens don't realize is I can't really afford to take any chances with the massive Devil. number of rookies that I've got. I've got all of these, like, low-rank guys. I can't really afford to take any kind of risks at all. Already I mean, we're going to have to leave the risks to wiser and braver men. Oh, just, you can't aye handle aye. it. All right, fail boat, why don't you head up here? I mean, we're going to need somebody to fail oh, boat wow. in a minute, and it's going to be you, because it's kind of your job. So let's put our other aye rookie aye, here. Commander. And we're going to try and, like, set up a little Overwatch bastion. Roger. Now, what these guys are actually trying to do is they're trying to clever girl us back into the alien. I mean, we know what they're up to. Your clever girl tactics, I mean, sure, you might say Sectoid Commander on the tin, and you think you're awesome and cool, but I hate to break it to you, Mr. Sectoid. This is not our first fucking rodeo. You're not the first Sectoid to try and clever girl us. You may have been the first one. You developed the meta. Oh, well, it's your technique. You pioneered it. Whatever, man. We've seen it before. It doesn't matter whether you get credit for pioneering it or not. We've seen it all before, sir. It is not new to us. All right, so the rookie's staying strong despite some admittedly bad cover. Oh, we could have... Oh, I wish I had an engineer. All I've got is Norman Borlaug. I wish I had an engineer and all I've got is Norman Borlaug. That actually should be like a country and western song. Oh, wish I had me an engineer, but all I got is Borlaug. Seriously, that would be a great country and western song. All right, so I guess really all I'm looking for is some cover destruction here, Borlaug. If you could blow up the tree, that would probably be good. I honestly don't know how to assess your performance, Borlaug. I mean, it was clearly a wide scatter, but I guess it could have been, all things considered, dramatically worse. How come nobody can see this guy now? 37, 83. We actually have a really good... All right, rookie. Come on, Yankin. Oh, look at him go. Oh, Yankin. He is not yanking our chain, folks. Yankin goes two for two with a fantastic performance. Now, Simone de Beauvoir has a low profile here, so we can afford to have her in a lesser cover. We're going to take this just for the hollow targeting. Even if we miss, we're fine. The miss is not unexpected. Nah, you're fine. Don't, don't be too worried. You got to... Got the hit, that's all we needed. Actually, could our rookie theoretically get a flank shot here? Headed there now. We got Bo Mi Zhang. Oh, Bo Mi Zhang with the flank shot and the rookie. Look at this. Look at that rookie fucking disappointing the holy living shit I'll out of me. That's time. that's what you should all look at that right there. That was uh yeah, that was actually the physical embodiment of what disappointment looks like. That right there. If you were wondering, and if you've ever wondered, you know, I wonder what disappointment looks like exactly. Well, now you know. Well, somebody's got to do it. So we're going to send Willie Shakes forward in full cover. I don't even think he'll be able to see the enemy from this tile. He can't, which is exactly kind of what we were hoping for. Our rookie is badly exposed. This is not a flank shot for Elvis. If somebody has to get shot, I would much prefer it be the rookie. I, feel my teeth. I know that sounds kind of scummy, but let's face it. She's let us down twice at this point. She sort of deserves it. I mean, sorry, Rook. What to do with Giuseppe? What, what, can, what can you do, Giuseppe? That's the better question. What can you do here? I mean, what do you theoretically bring to the table, Giuseppe? Double time. You know what? You can force that alien bastard to move. And then what we'll do is we will protect you and our other rookie, who is already a bitter, bitter disappointment to her mother and I, by covering you with smoke grenades. 
This is the Smoke best out. we can do. And I'm a little upset at having used both of our smoke grenades, because this is still the first friggin' pod we've encountered. We have no idea what else is on this map. Although, considering it's a sectoid commander and a mechtoid in the same pod, I gotta assume it's gonna be, like, one outsider. I can't imagine we're looking at too much, uh, too much more in the... You son of a bitch. Alright, he's definitely going for the clever girl. So, we had him set up for the flank, he fell back. I probably, you know what, in all things considered, I probably wasted that smoke grenade. That probably was straight up a legitimate waste. Alright, so, De Beauvoir does have a shot. It's a bad one. I'm thinking about taking it. Alright, we need... If there's another... Oh, I hope there's not another pod on this map. If there's another pod, I don't think there is, or I'm pretty sure we would encounter it. Enemies rolling up. Or I'm wrong and William Shakespeare is fucking dead. Flanking my position. Yeah, I saw that, Willie. You're completely fucking boned. There is effectively nothing we can do to help William Shakespeare. Oh, that's a berserker. Okay. Well, if this doesn't hit, William Shakespeare is straight up dead. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I think shit was, yeah, pretty much. Marie Antoinette, you have not done a goddamn thing this entire I'm fucking sure mission. Sure worthless heap of shit. Position confirmed. All right, rookie. I, I need, I, I gotta have, you can only see that guy. Of course you can, because line of sight in this game just doesn't work. Why would I assume that line of sight would be a thing that would actually function in a predictable or intuitive manner? I'm an idiot, and I should have known better. I simply should have known better. There now. All right, well, Norman, fail your boar log. You've failed me for the last time in all likelihood. This does absolutely... God, you're so worthless. Well, it, well, maybe you can shoot this guy and get a free. This is at least going to trigger one free shot from our unit that's going to be completely annihilated. I mean, there is literally no way for us to save William Shakespeare. He's going to get shot by, like, 18 floaters. Our only hope is that he takes a critical wound. That was just what we needed, by the way, Marie Antoinette. That was just what I needed. Someone to please. I, I was really looking forward to someone to please, and then you gave me that. So, thank you very much for that. I uh, sincerely appreciate your efforts. I'm rolling. <sighs> Alright, Yankin. You're the only guy I can rely on, Yankin. You're, you're the only thing on our team that makes sense to me anymore. Everything else in this world is just a bitter, cold dread. Actually, having you hunker down is kind of beneficial to us. I don't really mind. Neary, you've got the worst gun in the universe. I'm pretty sure it's not going to do two damage. I'm going to have you shoot it. Holy crap! We have we have surprising output from all of our rookies. I mean, literally, I can't count on one of our most experienced troopers to hit an 83 percent shot. But if you need a rookie to pull a miracle, the rookie will pull the miracle. Uh, Elvis Presley has got to get to a forward position. Because, best case scenario, we're going to need him to stabilize William Shakespeare in the very near future. That's best case scenario, is that he has to stabilize him. Meanwhile, this guy continues to run away. I'm real salty about a six-man a six -man floater pod. This is a small UFO. This is a small fucking UFO, and it has 25 billion guys in it? I'm, I'm my saltiness. I have, uh... I'm so salty. Just kill him already. Stop fucking toying with us, you alien scumbags. This is just mean. Just shoot him and kill him already. Oh, uh, Willie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, William, for what I've done to you. I'm sincerely... I apologize. I... These aliens are the, the biggest retards of all time. They, there, there has never been anyone stupider on the planet. Now, the drawback. Shakespeare is suppressed, so, I mean, that that's not good. Warlog, we're probably... He only has a shredder rocket. That's all he's got left. All right, Marie Antoinette, you piece of shit. If you miss this shot, I'm just going to fucking straight up fire you. All right. It's good that finally you decided to listen, because if you had missed that one, seriously, you were fucking fired forever. So we need to get somebody to take a hit on the guy who's throwing the suppression. He is 8 billion miles away, and no one is going to be able to hit that guy. With the possible exception of Simone de Beauvoir. She can't even see. 
Can't see that guy though, and we gotta get as much, uh, we gotta get as many of these dead as we can. Come on, guys. We, we, we need hits here. We, we gotta have, you gotta, you gotta help me out a little bit here. I would love to get a smoker out, but, uh, can't do it. Also, it doesn't matter because we, can't Enemy is still alive. we don't, we don't, we don't hit things. We don't have nice things. This is the XCOM project. We don't have nice things. Good things don't happen to us. It, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a complete and total farce. Nothing, nothing good or positive will come of this. William Shakespeare has survived for one turn so that the gods might be cruel enough to kill him undeservedly on his next turn. That's, that's, this is what it is. This is the god spitting Position in my mouth. Confirmed. They're like, oh no, he's going to be totally okay. Completely survive. There's nothing to worry about. He'll be fine. And then he has to run Overwatch and he's going to die. Also, there's barely anywhere safe to put him. So let's just Running. do this. Don't get shot, Willie. It's all on you. You're the only person we can rely upon, sir. I mean, it, you're all I've got, William Shakespeare. You're the only reliable man. It's you and one rookie. That's our whole team, man. That's the whole team. You and one rookie. Moving. That's all I've got that I can rely on. Also, the rest of you, I hate all of you forever, and I want you to know that uh, I do so deeply despise all of you. I don't even care. I don't even care. Shoot him again, actually. I would much rather Norman Borlaug die than William Shakespeare. Because, you know, Norman Borlaug can get shot while in cover, theoretically, while William Shakespeare can weather an entire storm of hail fire. Sure, no, no, William no, Shakespeare no, no, no. can Please stand no. in the open and get shot at by six guys, but Norman Borlaug in cover can't be missed. If it was anyone but Norman Borlaug, I'd actually be quite a bit saltier, but considering it's Norman Borlaug... I really find that I have difficulty carrying. Um, we still can't face off against this goddamn piece of shit sectoid commander. And everyone is out of ammunition, which is fantastic, so let's just fall back. This mission's going real well, by the way. Real well. I'm 100% uh, bon. pleased with the way things are going. Zhang, just don't oh, watch. Um, I can't really afford to leave Elvis in a forward position like that, so why don't you just come over here with Roger, the Dodger. panicky idiot William Shakespeare, who, you know, arguably... Um, excuse me? That all you sure, got? you get Overwatch, despite the fact that you're invisible. Whatever. Invisible Overwatch, that's a thing. Uh, Neary, we need you to not on be able to move. see anyone, so why don't you fall back as well? Overwatch. Go on Overwatch. Aye, aye. Marie Antoinette, you're completely worthless. You're right, you're right, right. So this guy's eventually he's gonna mind control someone. I mean, it's just gonna happen. Or he's Take gonna hit someone. We've got so many aliens and so not enough firepower and such a dead Norman Borlaug, and I'm having a very difficult time finding a way to make myself care about the Norman Borlaug thing. It's They're still a little irritating, down. though. Did someone please hit something? Thank you. Someone has to do something. All you guys have done this entire mission is miss shot after shot after shot after shot after shot. The rookies have the highest connect percentage, and that is a shame. It's, it's shame on all of you. Shame on all of you. You're making us rely on untrained, untested, unblooded troopers, and just lucky for you so far that they've managed to actually pull their weight, but still. And Elvis actually has a really good shot here, which I saw. We sort of needed that to kill a guy, but why would anything positive or good happen to us in this project? Or life. So we have two shots of 70... Ah, eh, fuck it. Thank you. So finally, Marie Antoinette Baker has decided to step into the arena and contribute by possibly fighting. Neary, can you take that? I'm telling you. He's a rookie with a terrible, terrible, terrible weapon. And he's the only reliable man in our entire army. A rookie with a terrible, terrible gun. And he's all we've got. He's all we've got that we can rely upon. All of it. 20%. That's not good. This might be a flanker. I'm on the move. Let's test the theory here. It is a flank shot. 66%. Alright, so we take this shot with Simone de Beauvoir. A, a little luck. Anything? Nope. Alright. It's so. what I should have expected, honestly. The flanker connects? Okay. We need I'm one fucking damage on that guy. Here. We need one damage. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, Shakespeare. I'm curious. I'm concerned there's still a floater, and I was right to be concerned because there is still a floater. 
There is nowhere safe to put you. I mean, I could have him run and gun to here. And then it depends on whether the sectoid commander can see him or not. Or we could just have him take a bad... Let's just have him take a bad shot. Thank you, Shakespeare. Verily thou hast delivered when the chips are down upon the table, and there are no more chips to be had, and still William Shakespeare has come to the fore I'm to protect right. us from harm. Thank you, mighty William, for your many, many contributions to the XCOM project. Of course she doesn't actually have a shot. Why would she actually have a shot? Well, Simone, you might as well, uh, holy shit, Simone de Beauvoir actually killed something. And that's not even We're the end of the go. mission. Okay, then. Um, so, Elvis, why don't you reload? You're out of ammo completely. Uh, Marie Antoinette, I, there's really nowhere. I, I... You know what, Marie the Baker Antoinette, you know what I think your most We're useful service would possibly be at this point? Actually, would be for you to just give up XCOMing and confine yourself to the bakery. I mean, just go down Good into the go. barracks and instead become an actual baker. Not just a nickname, I'm I mean literally. Fire. Spend your time making delicious baked goods I for am. other troopers. Because I think the morale boost from a delicious baked good would actually be more useful to us than what you're contributing on the battlefield. And I say that not because you're a Location female. I mean, if you were a dude and your nickname was The Baker and you were performing as badly as you were performing, I would also request that you just be seconded to the culinary arts department. It's nothing to do with your gender and everything I'm to do with the fact that you're a fucking terrible soldier. I'm on. You don't hear me talking about old uh, little rookie over here. I mean, the rookie's getting it done. I don't have to worry about Zhang. She doesn't need to go in the bakery and be bacon because she has uses on the battlefield. She can put bullets in the enemy. Unlike you, who we need the most, we give you our best gun and just hope that you can bring something to the project. And then all you do is just continually disappoint. <sighs> Norman Borlaug is dead, and it's mostly your fault. And I'm mostly not really sad about it. Also, that's, I mean, that's the other thing. Norman Borlaug is dead. Also, you know what? I want to be more salty about Norman Borlaug being dead. But one, it's Norman Borlaug, so I just don't care because I fucking hated him anyway. And two, if you had to tell me that I was forced to make some kind of tragic sort of Sophie's Choice moment between Norman Borlaug and William Shakespeare, because by all rights, Shakespeare should be dead. William Shakespeare should have died. By all rights, he should be dead. And if you would have told me, hey, you gotta choose between Shakespeare... Uh, we're in not good positions. Or was that the start of a turn? That was actually the start of a turn. Are we gonna be able to kill this guy, though? Uh, well, we can force him to move. I'm on it, Commander. Actually, we can probably hit him and force him to move. Man, Bomi Zhang, you're, you're goddamn golden god, my lady. Okay, well, that was slightly less than godly. That is not good. Um... Well, okay. So, full credit, full marks to Bomi Zhang for accurate assessment of her own combat abilities. I mean, she's got that going for her. Shakespeare is in a bit of a sticky wicket. Would love to be able to smoke our rookie. Actually, our rookie is in full cover. These units we have that are not in full cover are in a bad way. Yes, sir. Simone actually is not because Simone has low profile, so she's okay. You know, I think we put her on Overwatch okay, and see if we can get this guy to sort of stay where he is and stay flanked. On the move. I don't think it's going to work, but it's maybe worth a shot. Let's see what he does. He should... Yeah, he's going to move because he's flanked. And he's just straight up running for it. Okay. He's just going to head for the hills. Uh, he's he's lighting out of here. He's, he's had enough. He's taking off. He's done dealing. He's also not on Overwatch, and he's definitely the last fucking enemy on this map, so... Uh, that's a dash move near you? Okay. No, that's fine. It's all right. Roger. Tracking. You're only a rookie. I, I've i really already gotten a better oh, performance out of you I than I would ever have expected I, uh, yes. from a rookie. Oh, I, uh. I can't... I honestly can't complain. You have done your job, rookie. A little yeah. overwatch here. Um... I'm worried about this guy trying a little end around. Heading Let's bring our rookie location. up here and just see what she can see. And she has... She actually has him flanked again. Bo Zhang! She's the greatest trooper in all of XCOM. Not since Lucas Schwarzkopf has a rookie contributed so much to such a terrible mission. Alright, guys. We need uh, we need some hits here. Oh, both of them connected. Yeah, that was double overhead rookies. Those were both rookies. Mission accomplished. Holy shit, our rookies absolutely got it done. 
Amazing, absolutely amazing performances from our rookie. Norman Borlaug, much less so. Then again, that's the last time we have to worry about fucking Norman Borlaug. But anyway, what I was saying earlier, if you chose me and told me I had to pick Sophie's Choice style between William Shakespeare and Norman Borlaug, I'm picking Norman Borlaug a million out of a million times. And theoretically, Shakespeare should have died, and theoretically, Norman Borlaug should have lived. I mean, he got hit while in a half cover, but if I had to take that pick, I'm sorry, Borlaug, you die every time. You die every time. All right. So a little suboptimal performance. I got I got clever girl. Even as I said they're clever girling me, I still fucking let them do it because I'm an idiot. Then smoke then for the king. Oh yeah, mama, gonna be his dances a peanut butter and banana sandwich for me. Oh yeah. I do not like either of these, Giuseppe. You have two kill. The we sent Giuseppe in with a terrible, terrible weapon, and he still got two kills. God damn, you're a hero, Giuseppe. All right, we're just gonna random. Giuseppe will be good as almost anything, actually. He has fantastic stats. Anything but a sniper, which... Yeah, okay. Uh, a little bit of your shine there, Giuseppe, is... Uh, yeah. Bomi Zhang, the greatest rookie of all time, managed to not level somehow. That's not, that's not really fair. I mean, that's really not fair at all. Do I want another... No, I don't want another... You'll be an excellent scout, actually, Yankin. Good aim and uh, very high mobility. Uh, that's a much better reroll for us. We kind of need more scouts, so I'm I'm fine with that. I'm also fine with this. This, I am fine with it. I am fine. Perfectly fine. So we picked up a sectoid commander. Our first got him ready for autopsy, or at least it's unlocked. We can't do it because we don't have enough corpses. Couple damage components, so let's head on back up for Crazy Pete's Crazy Emporium to the gray market here. Another damage components, all damage components, an extra 50% off. That's right, I'm Crazy Pete. Come on down, get your deals today. All right, so Crazy Pete's crazy deals, crazily taken care of, and Norman Borlaug put in the ground. I'm less uh, crazy about that, but not completely unenthused either. I'm, I'm really kind of torn. I hate losing a trooper, but I don't hate losing Norman Borlaug, so... It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Anyway, my ambivalence, let's put it to rest. I'm going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. Your support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more XCOM, consider subscribing as well. We post new episodes every single day. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.